walk for water. I would have uh, had to clear a lot of blow down, cut some uh, little stumps out of the way. Yeah, I probably could have made it work, but it's amazing how the weather influences your attitude, eh? Great sunny day. I might have taken that site and just lived with hauling water in my water bucket back and forth. Now I'm committed. I'm kind of in a portage track. So there's no campsites available here. It's just all dense, dense forest, piles of blow down, big whaleback rocks, and just uneven, lumpy, bouldery ground. Super thick and dense. Understories of cedar along the shore. Portage will probably take me an hour anyway and longer if I have to cut blow down out of the way. I have a headlamp of course so maybe I can make camp in the dark. I may come back here on the last couple days if I can if I can get out early enough see if I can make that into a campsite and cut a path because there was a lot of trees and brush in the way cut a path to where I could get down to what I call a water rock a water rock is where you can walk down and dip the water into your uh, billy pails and a convenient place to wash fishes and stuff get water Fill your uh, water filter bottle. You can't do that really on a on a whale back, especially when it's wet, because you you can slide right in and fall in. It's cold right down, but I'm definitely not cold. That's for sure. The Gore-Tex rain suit, back in the day when they made the face fabric a little tougher, so it's a heavier duty garment. And I only use it for canoe trips, nothing else. And I treat it with the uh, Nick Wax, the Nick Wax wash, tech wash, and then the Nick Wax, I forget what to call it, but the treatment that you, uh, after the wash, you, uh, Run it an extra rinse cycle, and you put in this uh, product. I forget what it's called, and it it supposedly uh, reinvigorates the DWR. So it it breathes a little bit, but it's uh it's wetted out pretty good now because it's an older garment. And it's not really breathing. It's quite cool. Just gonna mop up some uh, water here with the sponge. Boat sponge, gotta have it.
while the rain stopped for the time being. But more is behind it. There's a, a sun patch there, but behind that one is another rain cloud. But I'll take this break while I can get it. It's horrible portaging when when it's pouring rain. It's just horrible. Portaging with rain gear on is a sweat fest. Plus, I probably have some blow down to clear. Maybe not, but we'll see. And it, I, I don't like working hard in my rain gear because it can get torn. The best rain gear for durability is that PVC heavy duty rubber stuff that the workmen wear. And I've got those at home, but they're far too heavy to bring on a trip like this for portaging. So I've got to take care of the Gore-Tex here because it's literally part of my life support system. Hypothermia is a real issue. And I've seen people slip into the first stages of it even with their rain gear on because their rain gear was leaking uh, they just didn't keep themselves dry before they put their rain gear on if you've seen my videos before I think last last springs is a good example I think I did this exact same footage here heavy duty cedar lining the banks that's eastern white cedar with black spruce in behind it the occasional jack pine very very thick dense shoreline vegetation impossible really to land a canoe and it's just a jungle in there it's just shrub rich and full of blow down thick alder yeah it's really hard to find a campsite uh, in this boreal forest here this southern boreal forest that's just so bloody thick and really really rugged as you can see from that cliff in front of you okay fingers crossed that the portage is passable water's really high that yellow ring around the rocks is pollen some branches here Or Gore-Tex are pretty good. I like to keep my feet dry if I can, so I stepped in the water, but we're good. Okay, 
five to after five o'clock. I'm running out of daylight here.